Hello and welcome to Joyride with your hosts, the metaphysical moms, Tiffany and Carrie. Joyride takes you on a spin through all things spiritual and soulful, including holistic healing, energy work, and personal development. Now, here are your hosts, Tiffany and Carrie. Here are your hosts, Tiffany and Carrie. Hello, I'm Tiffany. Good morning, I'm Carrie. How are you? I'm good. Happy, happy Joyride Day. Happy Joyride Day. I'm sorry I had the sound up and so we get the we get the feedback. We do have some sound going on somewhere. Oh, this is my phone. Okay. Hi to Facebook Live. Hello, we got Hello. it. Hello, I'm not sure what camera we're on here. I know. Uh, but we have a fun show today with our new friend. Well, my he's new not, friend. I was going to say. I know. I'm not sure how far we go back. Daryl Davenport. Oh, yeah, definitely. Welcome, Daryl. Good morning. I just met Tiffany. Yes. <laughs> as wonderful as her voice. Oh, I know. Thank she? you. She's lovely. She's lovely. Okay, Daryl is the brave soul that um, <laughs> I kind of feel like he's our, like, guinea pig. Like we get to get say our hands it. on him. You know. Say it. Guinea pig. Well, guinea pig means we, well, okay, guinea pig. All right. We're not going to experiment with you, but maybe you, a little. You have a story to tell. Well, you have I'll be a, a guinea pig for the, your public here. And Yes, but you have a story to tell that I think is so relevant today to what a lot of people are going through. In our tribe, our Joy Ride tribe. I love that. We have a lot of folks who are having a, having a rocky time with the ride, who are, you know, getting detours and pit stops and things are happening and um, mm-hmm. We want to tell you you are not alone. You are in good company, and that a lot of the things that you're experiencing, people have gone before you, people are behind you, and we can all learn from everything you're going through in okay. your ascension process and your waking up process. I uh, know that's exactly right, and and I I have to okay, let's back up a little bit on how how this came to be. You're backwards. So, Daryl has this incredible incredible store, this shop, and he goes to. Uh. Where all do you go? England, all Belgium? Europe. All of Europe, yeah, England. Four or five times a year? Four or five times a year. And so all the cool stuff in my house came from his shop Absolutely. and his mom's shop. Every, yeah, handpick everything. Oh, and it's amazing. And so I've known Daryl for a long time in my past life being a designer. That's true. And um, so I, I brought a friend of mine over, and, and she met him. Loved his stuff, loved everything he was doing because he doesn't just sell the stuff. He also makes and tweaks and creates artwork. Oh, and, yeah. and so she calls me one day and she was telling me that you you were telling her all these stories and you're seeing ghosts and all this stuff. And yeah. she's like, no, 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 that's not me. That's Carrie. And yeah, so and I had no idea. You had no I idea? I have known you years. Probably six, Seven, eight, eight, eight years. Yeah, maybe. She's the metaphysical mama. I had no idea all this time. <laughs> See, but your mom did, though, because she and I would sit and kind of chat. But I think she just thought I was interested. I'm not sure that she no, knew that we were kind of No, neither one of, of us, because my mother's the only one I really ever confide in. You know, and she didn't know? With any, anything that ever has ever happened. Well, thank and you for confiding in all, yeah, of, well, and all of us. No, no, then I stopped by, and, and he's just like, just all this stuff comes up. And yeah, I couldn't shut up. I was just, no, whoa, it was whoa, whoa. wonderful, but it was just amazing. And the stories that you have, and... The, I mean, there, there's just so many, we can go down so many different paths here. Yeah. So it's, you're waking up, yes. your life is basically turned upside down, inside out, which what I love is that we have, um, by the time most folks come on the show, that part of it is long, is, is way back. You yeah. know, sort of their dark, their dark night and, and, and the big shake up is four or five, eight years past. And so to walk through this with you now and to see you changing and to see you getting healthier and healthier, that's the fun part. And that's yeah, not for me. Well, no, <laughs> no well, but we know you're going to get through but it. But it is yeah. fun. I, I shouldn't, shouldn't be. Part of my awakening is trying to sh- shrug off all of the negativity. Amen. Well, that's, that is for me number one. Well, just being aware of it and being aware mm-hmm. of your part in it and how you're playing into it and... Then letting it go, transforming sure. it, and doing your part. So, yeah, yeah, okay, use. well, I can't. I'm new. I'm brand new to you. So I'm. I'm. Ha- okay. I can't wait to hear That's all good. the stories. Yeah. And well, I want to start. Also, I also want to point this out that we have realized that it really is a two, two pronged approach. That as you wake up, your paradigm shifts. You start. You know, all these incredible things happen. Um, you also heal. You also have to heal. You have to do the work um, mm-hmm. from the backside of. You know, I, do I want to keep this? Do I want to keep that? Do I want to let that go you start seeing the different 
patterns. Yeah. You start seeing things that don't work in your life, and, yes. and those get tossed, and the new comes in. Part of that process, they become so obvious. Things, you have the epiphany, mm-hmm. you know, and then you begin the work. Mm-hmm. And in my case, it was a, a back injury that I was kind of bedridden for a week anyway until I just couldn't stand it anymore. But uh, I had nothing to do. And I have so much energy, you know, for a human that uh, yeah. I couldn't sit still. I can't sit still. But uh, I had YouTube <laughs> and all of the computer, <laughs> the internet. Oh, the YouTube. my gosh. It was just like, I mean, I'm still kind of doing okay, it. Okay, so before that, you were not on any kind of spiritual path. You were busy mm, doing no. your thing. You said you confided in your mom and some things. So have you always oh, sort of had? Oh, well, we kind of share that. And that's kind of part of our bond. You know, we can we see the same things at the same time. We see stuff. You know, we travel together sometimes as okay. well. So, and she's getting to the age where she can't do much of that anymore. But, uh, yeah, in saying that, she's made the last two trips alone while I stayed and held down the fort. I was going to say, your with, mom well, is a George. juggernaut. Oh, but. she's going to outlast me, I say. Oh, so she what will. happened? I'm sorry, to, I digress there. What yeah. happened um, with your back injury and uh, now you're watching um, YouTube? Oh, What's going on? I just, uh, I've always been interested in meditation. Okay. Even though I've never stopped to take the time okay. to educate myself. And I'm a dinosaur when it comes to the technology that's out there. I'm a, you know, grunt, yeah. a grunt. <laughs> We're all trying to figure it out. Our kids As I'm sitting here and just trying yeah. to figure out uh, how You have to, to wear a lot of hats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Being yeah. me. But, yeah, you all do too. But um, I uh, came across some meditation stuff, and I, you know, experimented with it. And uh, I got to, uh, yeah, I spent money when I was in my 20s to, s- to study it with a therapist, you know. And uh, it was good, but I, was, I had no idea. It wasn't good enough. That was just an example. I've always been interested, but I've always kept it to myself. So with my situation, me being here, is part of the awakening to, it's the realization that it's okay to talk about it. Yeah. Coming out of the closet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happened when you experimented with meditating? Oh, um, I immediately had uh, a good response about it. You know? What happened? I uh, could see auras around things more i mean it's you know like when you get out of a swimming pool as a kid and everything's fuzzy around and colorful. Your eyes are open yeah yeah i mean quick no wait well hold on wait no i don't think most of us get out of the pool I, I would see the fuzz but i didn't see you were seeing you were seeing it back then oh yeah always i always have um and i have I guess the gift of uh, being able to experience a lot of different levels and different aspects of the whole spectrum, you know. Uh, Wait, spirits uh, and... Seeing things, seeing spirits. Uh, uh, the Oh, I had night terrors like crazy when I was young where, you know, you're held down. You could feel the hands mm-hmm. and the eyes piercing. You know, I had that. Elemental, yeah. A lot. Um, you know, reoccurring dreams was always a big part of it. And people would come to me in the dreams, you know, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, there'd be some kind of chase and, you know, dialect back and forth. And you can tell definitely between a dream and, and yep. you know, people visiting you. Right. It's just, it blows you away. Well, okay, but you, okay, what I find interesting is he doesn't, like, if, if I see... Elvis, it's here. Like it's in my, it's inside my head. He sees them. I mean, like he sees them as if you're you're right here. I mean, yeah. they to Solid. pull that kind of energy in for them to to materialize to you. Uh, that's that's it's what got my more attention. more solid than not. I would say, I see more things that are more solid than than apparitions or orbs. I don't see really orbs. If I do. I I debunk myself, <laughs> you know. Yeah, sure. I'm the first, you know, to do it. But th- there's so many things that happen that you just can't. Okay, so you know? how long ago did you start seeing this? I mean, have you had this part, and it just comes in here and there? Always, from a as long as I can remember. And do they ever talk to you when they? Well, the sometimes one did. Yes, sometimes no. The girl that hit your car. She didn't say anything. Oh, I thought she did. No. She just gave you an. 
mean look? Oh, so yeah, that that fraction of time. Tell uh, t- I don't know was, that story. <laughs> was uh, you know um, it said a million things, and it's that was the most. That's my most favorite uh, ghost story. Tell her about that. And it's, it happens to be the most recent ghost story that was so wonderful, so vivid, so you know out there. You know, I see stuff all the time and just flashes and things like that. But this drew out, and it was almost a year. It'd be a year this month that, you know, hot, hot, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on the property where I'm at, a big building, you know, warehouse complex where my business is. I had my lived-in 7-year-old with me. 3 in the afternoon, we're sweating, you know, I don't know, going to the store or something. Well, I have this bad habit of pulling out to the end of the driveway and then looking. But there's a sidewalk and a bike lane, and it's all been added in the last decade. But I uh, have a bad habit about kind of nosing out there too much. Well, this particular day, um, which this was also something new to me because it's never happened in the public on a busy street it's 34th street you know over in the heights in over just north of the heights you know one block north of the freeway so my daughter and i are pulling out and i did my thing and of course right as i'm doing it i'm thinking dummy one you day you're gonna somebody. smack somebody you know yeah. you know i'm trying to change that but i pulled out looked to the right looked to the left and looked back toward the right and as soon as i you know got facing forward as I was turning back to the right I caught her in my peripheral vision and went ahead and turned around and as I turned around and fixed on her my I, in my peripheral my daughter sitting there she's turning and this girl Hispanic young 20s uh, street clothes you know hoodie slammed I mean banged into the window right where the window meets the door of my vehicle and my daughter sitting in that seat okay so and she jumped so your daughter saw it too she saw it and she jumped i jumped and the she dissipated and went back and up you know towards like the trees and mailbox and stuff but wow she was angry that i blocked her path and she was walking on the sidewalk and you tell her what you told that you asked and my daughter daughter immediately you know as it boom happened she dissipates and goes up Uh, my daughter said wow that was weird and I looked at her I said what I said tell me exactly what you saw because that's never happened for me you know to be validated well yeah one other time when I was like 20 yeah. And that was something weird, too. Well, but. if your mom sees it, you see it. Uh, surprise, but, but, your daughter sees it, too. But to okay. see it in such a length of time, you know, it was, okay, it was uh, one and a half, two seconds, you know. But to see it, that's a long time. Yeah. That, that is a long time. Because what they do is that's, they pull in. She was pissed. I think that's she's doing why you a was, favor to tell be, to help yeah, you remember. Really, she exactly. was. Exactly. Just saying, hey, this could have but, been a, a living Oh, person. yeah. Oh, yeah. It would be like if you pulled out oh, in a car. Yeah. In, a, you know, in a car, they'd blow their horn and cuss yeah. you and, yeah. you know, give you the bird. She was, she was a little angel She saying, was doing hey, that, too. Pay attention. Yeah. But she, well, she was mad. So my daughter, she, I asked her, and she said, well, she was really angry. And I said, okay. <laughs> she, I said, well, what else? And she said, um her hands were smoke which yeah and she had a hood on but her hair was doing the it was exactly verbatim what i saw so ah that's so cool yeah and i if for, I, for six months it was such a good one that for six months i it was on the top of my brain all the time yeah yeah you just keep total repeating. validation yeah Absolutely. and i told everybody about it that was like you know <laughs> my yeah. sons and you know the kids and ex-wives and stuff because they know some but you know they don't yeah well they don't have that or whatever i don't know how to well and they don't they it, it's yeah. one of those things would they believe you believe it they know it's there but until you actually have your own experience it's yeah. hard to well the really younger daughter she uh there was a little hispanic boy that was in an apartment that uh followed us 
when I my ex-wife and I moved, you know, into a house, we went into a little, I called it the bungalow, because <laughs> it was such a tiny little thing. It was sad, but, <laughs> you know, we made it work. But it was all mine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this little boy, I kept seeing him, and he would just sit on the sofa and dangle his legs. and. You would see him? Yeah, and he would shut doors, and he would, uh, you know, walk by the hall at night when you're laying in bed watching TV trying to doze off. You'd see somebody walk by, you know, and it's a little midget. <laughs> it a wasn't little a full guy. adult, so I'd, I would just go, oh, there he is. And uh, my ex did see something now and then, but they, you know, shrug it off, say, well, shadow of a car in the window or something, you know. See, and I wonder um, if, if, like, if I hung out with you long enough, would I start to see them with my eyeballs too? Possibly. You know? I, I wonder wondered if it's about you, that. That you raised the area around you because from what i understand it is maybe electrons and and they pull it's, in it's like and so they they can kind of like gather themselves up and that's and it's really tough and um they have to actually learn think about ghost the show ghost the anyway and they pull themselves together and they can't really s sustain that mm -hmm. and um but i'm wondering if you have something to do with that that I, ability for them to do I, that yeah I, I believe that it's all energy, just like we are. Mm -hmm. It's just the other extension of it. But uh, I believe that also, um, and tell me if I'm wrong, I believe that uh, when there's a buffer there, when your body and your brain shoots all that adrenaline or whatever it is, of, and the fear hits you of what the, you know, I think that that pushes them away. You lose the... I think connection. it nukes mm -hmm. their energy just like they can pull energy from batteries and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So no, you're exactly right. Have you always, have you been interested to um, develop this and to research this and to understand the spiritual realm? Or have you always been like, oh, that's weird. I don't really want to know anything about always, it. I'm busy. I was raised, of course, I guess, well, not necessarily raised, but I took it upon, you know, whatever information. We were kind of, kind of trained that that was taboo. Yeah. You know, so shut that shit down yeah so i just that's part of maybe why i never talked about it you know people look at you funny too and but uh that's part yeah again part of my awakening is that wow uh it with my daughter that last incident that was so wonderful mm -hmm. it was uh kind of like you know having the epiphany of wow it's not it really it's not just me and it's in my family and it's more accepted. It just kind of all came clear, like, eh, so what if nobody digs on it, you know, or doesn't want to believe it? All this stuff I was watching and ingesting from the Internet and, and trying to debunk it myself and trying to, you know, get in books and stuff to validate it or debunk it, eh, not all of it can be hocus pocus. And all of, yeah, I'm living proof of it. No, you are. And that's why, so I brought you a bag, I brought him a bag of books. Oh, and and everything wait. from Ainsley McLeod and Past Lives and What Your Soul is Here to Do, which, by the way, he is, oh, he's just the most yummiest man. And then, <laughs> I mean, he's, you know, I mean, there's some folks that you can feel the ego and it's, in, I don't know. Um, but with him, it's just, this is his job. And he is, he just loves everyone. And he's just a kind, really kind is. man. Yeah, he he's lovely. Yeah. Shout out to Ainsley McLeod. But, um, so... Um, law of attraction and uh, all kinds of stuff like how to kind of hone it and and play um, with it yeah, so all kinds of things to tr help me with my meditation lately you know you take bits and pieces of everything that you see and learn and hear and you know these goofballs making their YouTube videos from Turkey or <laughs> you know Bangladesh or you know uh, but it's worldwide. It's we're wonderful. all having this awakening ah, and at we're this time. All the They're all zinned out. And, and really, that's also where I really desperately need to be. <laughs> I need to get more calm. Okay, so that, that brings me to, this, to the next place of... So what's going on in the 3D world? Because from yes. what we understand, this energy can come in and just like clear out stuff that no longer serves you. And it's like, okay, it's so. time for you to wake up. It's time for you to do what you, you came here to do. And there's a framework around it. And um, because you have to be able to pay your bills. And so mm, you, know, I you hate have that. to. I know, right? But eh. I'm so bored with this whole career business. 
Well, maybe I, there's some new career. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm, with get, I'm, get, I'm like, I do get this. No. You have. Yeah, don't. Please, well, you no. can take over. Somebody no, will take I don't want to show. <laughs> <laughs> no, he picks like nobody else. Yeah, uh, yeah. just need to be. Well, we'll put the link to your show, your shop, on our website, which is joyrideshow.com. Because um, you know, if you're here in Houston, and I oh, love your well, style, but you can probably ship anywhere in the world. I'm sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, oh, and, and the shipping part has become really a lot more mainstream it's not nine million dollars to ship something across yeah. the country you know? you know what i'm not sure that i believe that only yeah, because my mother look. i shipped a box she has my kids out um up in wyoming and i shipped a box 200 bucks but she wanted it next day and they're out in the middle yeah, of nowhere I'm like, Mom. no but you are um so i have to tell you this so my mom found she my mom is amazing and she has this had this cabin and i don't know if you found it or your mom found it the light it was a beehive oh it was this beehive and that. it um he turned it into a light yeah, a and so it turned hive. it upside down and it was and it even kind of still had that wag that smell oh it does they're good oh and when the light shines it kind of would warm like would warm up so you could actually that's smell so it. cool and yeah. it was just the coolest thing and it it was anyway it was wonderful so this is the type of stuff yeah we does. don't want you to get bored Very with that day. we don't want you okay we have some folks saying hi on on facebook live so we're gonna say hi suzanne hello joy ride hello. tuesday Catherine says jj says hi good morning hi excited. jj madeline and nora um bobby says there's no gnarly echo so hopefully that's cleared up kathleen kathleen's our friend down in galveston who is writes amazing ghost stories oh yeah, yeah. oh i went to that uh tour oh you did it galveston? was a good night too there was, was it a, yeah there of was a, you saw it a, a, a group of people jumped somebody was peeping through the window back at them oh Everybody do you know, know where yeah i know right where i was there Sorry. I was away from the crowd, but boy, it sure sounded real the way they squawked. Oh, that's <laughs> so, Kathleen, awesome. we have to. Kathleen, um, you have to. Well, have, yeah, she she does ghost tours, and she's written a ghost book actually, all about she's the tour, self tour. Tombstone. Okay, and Emmanuel from Belgium. Hi, darling. We right. can't wait Hi, to see you. She's coming to Texas for a little play date soon. Um, Carrie is saying hello. Carrie Silver Lining. And Suzanne Stroud. Okay, Suzanne says, please, can you ask Daryl about his meditation practice? Yes. Does he ground himself to be so centered when he has these encounters? Can he advise on how we might be able to learn mm -hmm. to read auras? Thanks. That's great. Thanks for your question. That's great. Let I me, brought you a book. Let me answer then. Because Carrie really helped me with a kind of a breakthrough about the energy grounding your feet. Mm -hmm. So if Absolutely. you're sitting, if you're sitting in a chair, I have been able to, in my brain, to just turn it on like a faucet. Turn what on? My hands and my feet. Oh, we the did the energy. grounding, yeah. Yeah, we did the We did the, the energy thing. where where you can and, feel it. And I was uh I put I was pushing. I wasn't pulling, but I was pushing and she's like, "Wow, you said something about this side." It's and it was funny because I kind of validated me a little bit because he didn't tell I wasn't me even trying anything on that side. Circuit yeah, yeah, absolutely. The whole thing, yeah. Okay. Um, so grounding and meditating. I, right? What's working for you? The pineal gland, I envision it, the center of my brain. I envision that and a beam straight forward out of my forehead. I'm uh, no lights. Um, actually, the more you meditate, it gives you headaches. I've got a bad headache now. Um, and uh, light, No lights meaning Light from hurts your eyes. Glares. Like, like, a, like you're a vampire or something. I mean... You're, sensitive. you're getting I mean, more sensitive to light big time. outside. Okay. So, and lately, I think the trick for me was with my busy schedule, I literally had to cram meditation, you know, where you just block out all the sound. And I just try to calm myself and erase, you know, find that place. I swear my brain's like a dancing drunk monkey. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's just like bounces. We all do it, but to still, to quiet that movement in your brain. And what do you do? You have mantras or breath work, or you just breath, literally just uh, breathing breath and from your gut. You know, That's but the key, also, breathing from also, the gut. I envision almost a plasma type breathing, well, air in, but my exhale is all negative energy going out, and almost like a thick plasma kind of mm -hmm. a imaginary, you know, flow. And has this become a regular practice for you? Yeah, now? I've done that for a couple of years, but uh, it's really this last—I'm just—I'm telling you—last 
60 days really is about it that I really poured it on, you know. It's like it's like you can't get enough of yeah, it. Yeah, you, you can't, can't. You're a sponge just trying well, to get everything. Well, in the beginning, everything. meditation for me used to be like, oh, I want to sit and meditate. I have to do it. And it would just be like grueling no, in the monkey mind. I, I, but once you kick you into it. You have to just start over. You have to uh, also a reset button. Yeah. One of y'all's shows was that girl uh, about tapping. Her? It was it tapping, you? Yeah. Tapping. Okay, well, thank you. because. You're welcome. Because I started kind of, I don't even know how you do it, but I just made up my own version to try and play with it. And I, I like that. I love to. I, I want to. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a thing. Please. I'll teach you. I'll, we'll have a session. Please. Yeah, yeah. tapping is amazing. Because that amazing. will help you balance the energies, will help work yeah, with hard. the headaches even or whatever's my going on. Even emotions and stuff are just like, ooh. Yes. You know why that is? I mean, I could just, you know, I always so oh, I forgot how to cry. But damn it, I'm on the verge of it all the time. Oh, it's you know, because I just you're keep choking it. Up. No, I just keep choking it down. Don't maybe choke I, it maybe down. I need to. You need to cry. Well, I'm not going to do it on the show. Okay, well, we won't make <laughs> you do it on the we show. We won't make you cry. Uh, the last time I cried, I think it was kind of ugly. <laughs> I'm an ugly crier. Oh, yeah. yeah, I snot. Well, and, and that's oh, yeah. a good for me. The tapping is a way to l like really embrace all those emotions, really feel them instead of stuffing them or choking them. Maybe that's what the headache yeah. is about: letting that stuff maybe out in a productive very, way. Very good. And then using that energy to um, to just help you raise up. So, yeah, in answer to the question, I, I squeeze in even five minutes at a time. That's awesome. And just hit, practice in the beginning. Just practice hitting that reset button. Don't think you're gonna fly out in you know rainbow space and rainbow go space. hang out with you know <laughs> Yogananda or something. It you is gotta, a reset. And Emma, who is a meditation teacher in Belgium, she says meditation should never be a job. No. If it is, start back from basics. And You're that's right. why it didn't Thank work you, in my youth, because I was trying to force it. Yeah. But it I had no work. idea. I'm not Talk in about on energy. this. I, I suck at it. It is, it is. Mine is when I paint. And I, you can only paint so many things in your house before I wish you I can't could paint. paint anymore. <laughs> you do paint. You yeah. paint and you varnish and strip. Well, I, lamps see, and... Uh, I see it a whole different way. That's for me. It's that I get in. I, well, I do a sucky job. Actually, I really do. Charles is like, please stop painting because it. You know, it's layers. Do it in layers. Go no. right over the top of old stuff and change it and all that, right? Yeah, but it's it's because I don't. For me, I'm not paying attention. I'm not there. That's when I'm talking to guys. Your hands are just busy. busy. You My got hands those busy. little monkeys at home all the time, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true too. But <laughs> but um, okay. So so yeah, just practice the reset button. Where do you put the reset button? Right in the middle of my head. Really? Just reset. This is the third eye. Yeah. It's like, hey, get back to it. Thing. Well, you know, um, uh, what's your name? We went, we saw her. Uh, oh, my goodness. I forget. What's her name? Law of Attraction. What? what? Esther Hicks. She has, and I downloaded Abraham it. Hicks. She said, you know what? Everybody makes such a big deal out of, out, out of this. She downloaded an app with a TikTok, and she just listens to the tick, tick, that tick. for me, the vibration is a key, but I'm just going off of stuff that I can pull off of YouTube and... I'm, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing yet either, y'all. But you do. But you do. I mean, did you? Someone just asked you, and loud. you answered them. Well, and you're doing what works for you. There's billions of us, and we all have a different vibe. Remember, we we just did Madeline, who was a uh, Reinhardt. I sent you her stuff, and, and it she said all some people love lots of talk and sounds and things that their brain can listen to, and other people just want silence and stillness and just a little prompt. So it's just wherever you're at on your journey, what you what you, but that, just taking the effort to just be still and calm and connect with that just part to of be, you just that to is be eternal open. that mm -hmm. spirit versus the busy three D frantic world that we are always so engaged in, lost in, lost in thought. Yeah. Well, okay, so the, another thing is tell me about your guides. Do you talk to them? Do you have you met them? No. I have not. Do you you know about this? Yes, somewhat, but I didn't know if it was necessarily for me. I know that I have them, oh, but here. I'm asking for maybe the wrong people. Well, you just ask for them to make themselves known. I do that, and but that's kind of something new. Okay. You know, most of the time I'm like in the car, you know, and talking and uh, trying to, you know, yeah, pray. You know, like you pray in the car and just kind of talk to yourself and nobody can call you crazy. Out loud stuff, help me, what are you doing? You know, get your sandal off my throat, stuff like that. Real, <laughs> real negative stuff that I got to shake off. But Get uh, your sandal off my throat. Are we talking Jesus? to Jesus? Yes. <laughs> well, he's doing that now to kind of, to, to kind of. Now we heard you. <laughs> point you in a direction, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Well, but that's what it, it is. I am hard headed. No, 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 it's no this. Patience. It's. 
It's hey, the tap tap. Oh, hey, uh, that's hey, a tip. Tiffany. <laughs> I mean, it is. That is usually why your life gets. I know I have guides, zero. but I don't know. I've always had some uh, a guide, or I just took it as that that patted me on my leg really? when I was, you know. And it's not muscle spasms. It's not. No. It's happened, you know, in different places of my body. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mine's nothing. a tingles at the top of the head. Yeah. It's like I used someone's to get playing with my hair right here. Really? Or blue. I see little flashes of blue. Yeah, that's my pay attention. Those are, your, like, that's, those are angels, Little too. flashes. The other day I was doing something, and my kid, one of my children called out, and I was like, oh, it's just starting to do something. And I saw this white squiggle, like mm. like somebody had a laser pointer. And I was like, oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, that sounds like And I paid scary. attention to it and went, and it was, it, was an important, it was important that I had gone in there, and he was having a really hard time emotionally with something. So oh, I, good. I'm glad I – so I get little pay attentions, and that's they don't great. have to be – you know, cinder blocks of the, the the sandal on the throat. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's paying attention to them. It's what you on. expect. I mean, if you expect something gentle, if you expect something positive, then that's what you'll get. If you expect that they have to take a belt and <laughs> whip you upside the head, then that's what you're going to get. And yeah. and well, the wow, that's a yeah. So and you can also mouthful. ask for them to if. Things are getting too fast, too hard. Too, you can say, you know, just slow it down a yeah, bit, see, could you please? And I soaked, I, I, yeah, I soaked up everything you said the other day. And uh, well, what was that? It's been a week or so since we mm -hmm. did that. And, um, I've become aware more, even more, and uh, just more open. I'm like ah, like like we 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 talked uh, yesterday. It's about coffee. Hey, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I smoke, I drink, I. You know, coffee, uh, ugh, the fast food that I've ingested, the decades I've lived on dollar burgers because I was a young, starving artist, you know, with kids. Yeah. You just do that stuff and the toxins and the, you know, drugs and alcohol and the whole gamut, you right. know. And how's that feel now <laughs> when you think about all that? Oh, well, why did I pollute myself? Well, that's where, where you were. You needed that experience, I guess. But how, how are you feeling about that now? Are you changing all of your habits? Oh, that's been a long, long time ago, you know, now. A week ago? No, I mean. <laughs> it feels I, like a long time I, ago. I, I'd Dollar love burger to smoke. I'm trying to stop smoking cigarettes right now. And Yeah, but you've gone from what to what recently? What? Oh, yeah, a pack a day to two or three cigarettes. I stopped for a few days, and I thought, are you kidding me? So I bought uh, you can tap on that. crappy tasting cigarettes <laughs> and just uh, try to do one or two a day and, uh, you know. And you change your diet, I heard. Oh yeah, no more sugar, no more sweeteners. I was sweet and low guy for twenty years. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, all of that. Caffeine, alcohol. Well, I still ha I like my coffee, but yeah. I'm going to try to get onto tea. I really don't drink that much, you know, not that much, especially lately. Now, are you doing this because you feel like you should, or your body is saying, "Don't, I don't want that anymore. Try something." My different. body is telling me. Yeah. Yeah, my That's body's cool. and the awakening process. You know, you I know. smoke a little pot, and I, I don't know if I. That's I used to do it because of my dreams. I it was a lot of years I didn't want those dreams because there were a lot of terrifying stuff. So I would just, you know, it, when, when you do, when you smoke pot, you don't dream. So I, I did it on that. purpose. Yeah, I guess you cloud over. Yeah, it just puts you in a different, you know, state of something. So I believed when I first started this whole thing that coffee was my thing. You know, that, and, and I don't I, think it matters. That's exactly right. I, I told myself, oh, my guides won't talk to me until I stop drinking it. Are they that conditional? I mean, and I think we no. put all these beliefs, but I think Tiff's right. Is I mean, I really did go from like five cups a day to half a cup a day. And um, that if you just listen to your body and what it needs. But I do know that as you vibrate and as your frequency increases, you the more you can expand and the higher you can go that you can hold, more of your higher self comes in. Mm -hmm. And so the more awake and the more... Now, where it's going, I don't know. I mean, it is. But, you know, okay, so as you were just talking, I, what I saw was nope. this. Um, you, up until this point, it's like, yes, I want to experience life this way. And this is, and I want these children, and I want to do these things. And I thought I had no choice. And then you always have a choice. Yeah. 
I guess. Oh, oh, but that's what I thought. I, uh, I thought a certain amount of it was going to be fate, anyway. And uh, what what is it when you say a certain amount of it was going to be fate? <clears throat> Any the yeah, the, all the responsibilities, bad decisions, and you know, I've, I've forever believed in what is it? Something in the Bible that said something about you. You acquire your parents. Um, what is it? Like their 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 bad, trials. Bad Kurt mojo, you know. It's, See, I, I heard it somewhere when I was young. Oh, and that imprinted. And it imprinted. Yeah, there's several things that I've had to rethink. Like <laughs> I used to brag about fluoride to all those Europeans. So what are you talking about? Look at my teeth. I can bite through steel. <laughs> but, you, my your pineal pineal little, but my pineal glands are little. But my pineal glands crawled up tight. <laughs> but it was just being uneducated. Yeah, well, that, that, that generational. I, I can speak to that a little bit with the tapping. It was sold the to us. Generational. We. I know Propaganda. We, I know we inherit our parents' DNA and some of the genetic imprinting that way. But I think we inherit our a lot of our parents, our thoughts, their beliefs, it's their and the their DNA conditioning, too. their cultural conditioning. And unless you investigate it and are aware of it, and kind of see, does this even still work for us anymore? Is this even something I, I want to hold on to? Mm -hmm. It does kind of run the show unless you consciously Make look that. at it, mm -hmm. honor the things that feel good and you want to keep and let go of anything else that, that doesn't. Mm -hmm. And you can break that cycle, that karmic cycle, the wheels, and the I generational see that. You're spinning. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. So it does imprint, and I think, unless you... You take it off. I Unless mean, you, you just and that look at it. is the answer to your question. That is the whole purpose of being at that higher place. Yeah. Is to be better. Able and better and helpful with others and better and helpful with these others that you didn't understand before. Yeah, the compassion, the yeah. understanding, compassion. the forgiveness well, of and, it all. Mm -hmm. And I think... Yes. No, it get shaken off vengeance oh. and all that you're negative. you yourself. I oh, mean. You're, yeah, if you want to... Yeah, but you know, I, I look at this as, you know, I sit down with my big old bag and it's my bag of me and my beliefs and my ideals and ideas and I think, yep, like that one. Oh, good Lord, no. You know, and, and I just kind of get rid of what's not mine. And I think that is part of that process because what happens, and this is, and I know we've kind of touched on this, but what happens is you end up in this place where you realize you can manifest anything. You can yeah. create, you are the writer, the director of your life and the main, the main dude. Yes, you are. And it's so cool. And I was validated with that lately. How so? Tell us. Because I manifested a robotic vacuum cleaner that I wanted. Uh, <laughs> Seriously. As ridiculous yeah, yeah. as that sounds. No, but if it brings Phoenix. you joy and you're happy. I was, and, boop, I was politicking go. those things with my customers, you know, and I had a neighbor that's direct importing. You know, I'm in the import business, so I'm tuned to all that stuff. I never want to pay retail for anything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, uh, and poof, through Carrie, of course, I'm supposed to be here. You know, I'm supposed to know her. Because likewise, uh, yeah, there's too much of a quality vibe <laughs> to not be. But uh, her, I met a girl through her, a good friend, and she came over. I did some restoration for her, and I'm doing some things now. But uh, we got to talking about. It. She said, "I have one," and I said, "But you want it?" She said, "I have one. Do you want it?" Uh, and I yeah. was like, "Well, <laughs> well, yeah, I want one, but." You I don't know. want to spend five hundred dollars. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't have the budget. I'll trade you something. She said, "I'll give it to you." I said, "No, let me trade you something." So I did some restoration work for her, and she brought it by. Sweet. So I have it, Do and it's have just all the power you have of to manifesting. We love it. It sounds too simple, but there was a lot more to it than that. You are of, so big. You are, and that's no. what I love. No, 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 no. Why that's what that? I love. Why? Because that's what that is why you're here. Is is that you are. It you are you, it you've not played small. You've just been in auto. I've been limb in limbo. No, no, no. You've been on auto, and now you're going. Okay, you know what? Here, let me have the wheel. You let me drive because mm. we're gonna do this. And so, and that's what's fun because you are huge. I mean, yeah, just you, the but... things that you've already experienced are. I mean, there are people in our world that would love to see what you have seen. And, and and do what you have done. And so it, and that's just that's just getting your foot, that's just putting your toe in. And so what you mm. will end up doing is, I can't wait to see, because it, it's really fun. 
Well. It's fun to watch. Well, and I think we play the game by the human rules for a long time, and you start having these experiences or validating these experiences that you can't deny anymore, and you start peeking behind the veil and go, oh, there's a whole... N- what? There's a whole nother a back room. ball game going on here, mm-hmm. and what are the what's going on? And these rules do not apply tell, over here. Tell them what we heard that day, where you have a flashlight, the little tiny flashlight, and you're in this room. Well, that's Anita Morjani. Yeah, who, her her book "Dying to Be Me," and she had a near death experience, and she said, "I feel like my whole life I've been looking with a a little pinhole flashlight mm-hmm. at my life, and these are the things I could see, and these were my choices." And when she had her near-death experience, it's like the lights came on and she was in this massive warehouse of every single thing that existed. And she had a choice and she could shop over here, shop over here. And then when she came back, she's back to her pinhole light, but with the knowledge Uh that it's all there there for her. So it's it's just kind of cool to to see that all these vibrations exist, all these different entities and levels of vibration exist. And you get to pick what level you want to play on. But I, in my tapping world, by dropping the weight, mm-hmm. that negative, the the fear, it's all it's fear. fear, it's all variations it is. of fear. Yeah. Fear's by a dropping that weight, you can you can see you have your light. Your light gets bigger, mm-hmm. bigger and bigger, and you see, like you said, you have more compassion for all the different other choices that are there. Whereas you and you yourself, know. you have yeah. to have compassion for yourself. Well, yeah. I'm afraid that's probably where I need to start. <laughs> well, but that's where we all start. You we know. have to forgive ourselves. That's, then you just that's think the only job. That's it's a, a constant, and it's a constant growing and. Well, you're an avatar. This isn't Daryl's not real anyway. I mean, this is this is you playing. I mean, this is you playing a part. That's it. And so, that's it makes it much easier to forgive. I mean, Tiffany really, really helped me with that. And I, I, this might help. So the reason so many of us are waking up right now is that we're we've come back. I mean, the the Earth went way mm-hmm. out here, and we all fell asleep, and all these structures were put in place, and and which I think we needed to a degree, and then we come back, and now so, so many people are either dying off or they woke up. Well, something is up. something is going on. Mm-hmm. I there saw is. it coming, it's a huge and, shift and then happening. I learned of this, and that's what it has got to be: this shift, because things yep. from the last a year, you know, June, this month, a year ago, was uh, really that hammer to my head that was, what in the hell's going on? Yeah. So many things are popping out now. It used to be when I was young, you know, you ignore it. It's taboo. It scares you, you know. But once you come to a place of acceptance and you don't have the fear, well, you then you have, oh, do I engage it? I'm uneducated about it, you know. I don't want to invite anything negative or, you know, harmful. So, boom, I learn about the grounding yourself and. All how exactly how points. simple it is to shoo them away mm-hmm. and there's no reason to be nervous about it but something's going on because there's a so much activity there is i can't Seriously. believe and people i'm glad because people people that don't normally see things i think are seeing things uh-huh. and they're yeah. having these experiences that, yeah and that veil is all awfully thin right now it is it really is and that is that is um i love this i read this last night um someone wrote not I'm sorry, I don't know who this is. I'll find it um, so we can post it. But she was explaining it. She said that when you see a ghost, a, like a, a, one popping in to say hi, or a guide, maybe not a guide, but a ghost, it is, it's like God's beam through the veil, and it materializes on this side. Mm-hmm. And when it's a dark entity, it's a, it creates a vacuum. Hmm. And so it kind of rips a little a little hole in the veil. And I don't dwell on that stuff just because it's not a frequency I want to be on and it pulls me down to that frequency of kind of fear. Mm-hmm. And so I know they're there and well, I, res- I respect your space. And In, sa- in saying that, I, I also, with all this new uh, energy and activity that's going on, I hate to say it, but I feel like a lot of it's negative. You transcend that. That's by design. I <sighs> believe that's by design. I don't listen to the news. I don't. I, don't I trust that it is what it is. I don't watch the television. Mm-mm. Couldn't tell you what the hell's going on. I don't want on. people telling me how I'm supposed to feel and think. And and I know, I know what's happening. Well, and, especially now, you can't believe any of them. Well, that's exactly. It, but when you lift up and you see the drama play itself out, and it's not that you put your head in the sand, and which I guess maybe no, I have. it's like oh, a breath of release of oh I'm so glad I don't have to deal with that stress and I don't have to pick a side and I don't have to engage in that because it 
it's all a story. Mm-hmm. And um, so, yeah, so it, it is it is really interesting. And OK, so you have your pad. I put two pads in your in your goodie bag because I want you to write. I don't know if you already write, but I have I think you do, too. I have a bad I mean, I have papers. This just really? papers. I just write and I write and I write and I write. Well, I'm going to have to manifest me some extra time in my day. <laughs> but yes, yeah. I understand. I'm working on a book, but it's barely beginning, so I can't really brag on it. Well, we can't about the business. About See, the more you, the more I th- about the 3D world. Business. The more I believe you um, get into this zone, the more time expands for you. You it become uh, okay. You become the master of time. Thank things, you for that because I, I have the hints. And As I'm, Nora says, you become more aligned with time. Hmm. Ooh, which we you saw get that. To bend it. Yes. Tiffany and I, we we were part of the. Ooh, that would be good for you too. We were part of this psychic circle for a while, and it was far. It was like Barker Cypress further further and and it was right at rush hour traffic and it one night it took us like an hour and a half to get there tiffany said nope i i'm not kidding you it took us 30 minutes to get there maybe 35 it's like you bend time you just bend time and you we don't know how the lights happen. the lights just are green the traffic parts yeah. it's just mm-hmm. you just become it really is cool not a master but it does happen on occasion it only does that for me when i try to be early <laughs> then, like today, I just bam zip right over here. Yeah. He, okay. He so then every like, day here. you're early. You, you have the intention. But to if, be I'm, early if I'm if I'm running late, me. I end up dragging. But on that's it. manifesting uh-huh, exactly uh-huh. what you're creating. You Help manifest me. early in the seas part. You man, you're late in that frantic energy, and you're just log jammed back up. Yep, so yep, it's perfect see? manifesting. But I was going to say one thing about the news, real quick. The um, that idea that. The broadcast industry are selling advertising. They're selling these stories, and I, I, um, it's become so different now. Where I believe it's all, you know, we're all connected on the internet and news, and it's twenty four seven of all the bad things that are happening mm-hmm. that are Only. being fed to us. And we're if you buy into that, it creates more. I believe if we were to really see, there's a huge percentage, and I believe it's tipped. It's more positive than negative more more love and peace than all this disharmony so as much disharmony is going on right now people are creating their own sense of peace and their own solutions to these problems so i believe the scale is tipping for the positive we just it's not fed mm-hmm. to us mm-hmm. in the good news channel 24 7 so you have to actively find it in your community in your family these beautiful stories these the love that you have the the miracles that are You're happening right. all yeah. around you. The other stuff drops away. That's not yeah. being mm-hmm. fed to us through the broadcast industry. And that's what our show we want to have is a good news channel. Right. Where we're that's talking right. about miracles and, and, and consciously programming it in to see them, to feel them, to milk them, to create them in your own space. And not to believe that reality that is out there that is the they're call, and call it reality. Because it's not. Mm-hmm. It's a perspective of reality, but it's being sold to you. And it's it. easier if you well, just block that. It's easier. Well, and there's some truth to you. the things that are happening, but the spin on it, mm-hmm. the the you know, uh, I made the mistake of the drama that's at being Facebook fed. this yeah. morning. It was like negative, 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 negative. I was like, ah, I knew it. But there's also beautiful graduation babies. I mean, there's so much on yeah, there. Yeah, there it's is. Just, wow. And I've weeded most of that out of my Facebook. I'm gonna have to. I, I think I'm gonna just unfollow. I'm I mean, they can stay on. I'm just going to put it down for a while. Well, that's probably not a bad idea, huh? Yeah, and then, and then I'll, maybe in. I'll be a new me when I come back. Because well, I'm the guy that's like, ah, screw them, you know, and comment on. Well, Esther Hicks again talks about sifting and sorting. So hmm. she'll look through the news looking for the good news. Where's the good news? Oh, there's the story of the the fireman that rescued the family. Yeah. There's the story of, you know. I, I found one yesterday that was good. Yeah, I, I guess I'm, maybe we're all subconsciously trying to do that, but it's like, oh, lately, you there's know, you a gotta, lot of you got to really thumb through there, huh? You you do, but well, but there's a reason for that though too. Is that I I and I know I have said this a lot, but sort of like playing a B and a B flat, and and when the frequencies the vibrations start to really hit against each other, and they and 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 it gets to this point where it I don't know if you've ever heard someone sing and they're just really off pitch and and, and yeah myself kind of, <laughs> i don't <laughs> think in it the counts shower. if it's you yeah but it's um, oh yeah karaoke but, night <laughs> it's but it's that type of thing and so i think i think things do and i don't know if this is just what i tell myself but i do think sometimes things get worse before they get better like you have mm. to lance that boil type mm-hmm. of thing and and maybe that's what's 
happening too is that it has to reach a point where, where Oof, folks say we're me. done yeah because i've we're had done. strangest things happening lately that it's just like i have broke out in hives <laughs> you know from being nervous about stuff um in business and stuff you know it's just like wow like negative people actually you know and and being involved with certain people and it's just like now i can't go back to that okay I so can't, i can't eat the proverbial drink the kool-aid anymore i can't no come on back no come on back so so okay so if you spent if you said okay for the next two days i'm only going to engage in what brings me joy that's it so if it's um when someone walks into your shop and they're just you know those designers that are on the phone your mom once said that she's like that that doesn't bother me Okay, whatever it is that does, that would normally say, and if you look at it and you, let's say you look at the person that really makes you nuts and you say, wow, they must be having a bad day. It's mm-hmm. not about me. Mm-hmm. So let me see if I can quietly close my eyes and lift this vibration, this energy up, and if it will affect them. I'm pretty sure it will. And then they get into this good space. And, and it's you taking, instead of that's a great reacting, idea. taking charge. I mean, that's just one example. You're creating your reality. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, that's a good way for me and it's to 100% direct myself. In mm-hmm. the moment. In the, we just have to do it every moment by moment, situation right. by situation. Yeah. And so, and, and start right. seeing. And, and I wrote this down that it is, I know that you don't have a, a lot of time. But if you set aside this time that no matter what, this 45 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is, this is mine. And if it means that you get up at five, you get up at five. And like, this is mine. I do and it. Nothing touches this time except for me. True. I don't yes, know. I, I have already, yeah, making time. And I, that's what I do exactly. You make Just time. get up. What You're was there? the book you were going to write? You're writing a book about, is it business? Oh my, yeah, yeah. My, the business, the family business. I'm third generation okay. on my mother and my father's. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. And what's the name of your business? Uh, my business name is dld imports i thought it up really quick you know it's like stonehouse designs yeah after my dad passed you know daryl l Davenport i had to get imports. off the okay dld imports yeah Dot i had com. to get off the old family uh you know shirt tail you know tax wise and stuff <laughs> start again you went really far across the street across the driveway <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we have to have our own buildings <laughs> to Ooh, be in i will post photos of some of your stuff from my house yeah, yeah actually my I'm whole sure house beautiful. Is from Lots of beautiful. i don't go to oh round top gosh. because i go to his place okay it's i mean Houston's well round right top. now if you go over to the aia was it mai mai on uh, i-10 and boss uh there, it's like a heaven your <laughs> you mom have, said it's that for yesterday. the designers okay i can't believe y'all don't Do you know have about to be a designer? it i thought everybody knew about it no Okay. Yeah, you Cuners. can buy. I thought uh, you that's can squeeze the on them for building. a price. You can do whatever you want. Squeeze They're tr- sure price. trying to sell you something. Okay. But we have a, a new space. We've been there about a year. Yeah, a little a year and a month now. And uh, right by you. Wow, it's saved my butt in this economy. But we have an opportunity to take one area and decorate it and make it look fantastic. So it looks really good right now. We'll go by it and looks check so it good, out. I don't we'll want to sell anything. We'll post the link to what you're talking about on our <laughs> site so that anybody in Houston, you can stop by and say hi. Yeah. We have some more Facebook people Memorial saying. Antiques and Interiors. Okay, Memorial Oh, that's what that Antiques is. Antiques and Interiors. And it's the old Cunerts, right? It's the old Baleos, isn't it? Now, they have couple, a couple of spaces. There's Building 1, Building 2, and then they have MAI consigned where you can go take your stuff and you consign tell me you're it. take my stuff there <laughs> uh, that was an idea they just take a you know commission and no, I love laughing. you so I try not to whack you so hard I, I I took a bunch of stuff I'm like would you please take this it's I don't know where to so sell fast. it uh, I know I saw I saw I him, I was like, oh I love that oh wait I just sold those <laughs> yeah most of my business is all return clients you know that's the key to it See, but that's the thing. Make is somebody that happy. We like love. to hide you because the stuff is so unique. And, and then finally the I said, side. okay, that's not nice. I have my have house to is share. full. <laughs> no, I'm not been, really. I don't have clients right now. So, yeah. So uh, we've been to get on the, the property out. there for 25 years. Have you really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you also have um, some ghost stories about attachments to Ooh. furniture that yes, you bring I back. Yes, I do. This is interesting. I've always had kind of a feel for that stuff, you know, overseas and uh, even in the States here, uh, we went up to uh, Alton, Illinois, where you can get a hamburger for like 50 cents because oh. it's right there by all the slaughterhouses and stuff. 
Anyway, <laughs> there I'm was a crack area now, so I don't eat. I don't eat yeah, best. I eat yeah. meat. I love me. I love me some cow. <laughs> I bet you're O. But uh, there's yeah, that was the really the first real prominent time it really hit me. But there was a big cabinet that had gargoyles on it and all that, which as a younger kid didn't bother me because my grandparents had that stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and it was always dark and gloomy and, you know, velvet, dark velvet stuff. And so, but it really had a bad vibe. And then not so long ago, we sold a piece. Well, maybe this isn't good for business. <laughs> sold a piece that was. Uh, he now clears them. Yeah. yeah, yeah before we do he cleanse, sends them. We do cleanse. Yeah, so. uh, a Russian piece of Russian peasant furniture. And it was gloomy it would put you in a bad mood and i do all the restoration work so i did that piece you know start to finish by myself and i i was just so depressed by the time i got done and you know i just knew that it was just evil you know but did my job sent it on its way you know maybe i'm wrong whatever and sold it it went to the carolinas to a big house big new house and a lake well, hopefully it gets a brand new life now it's and not oh, gloomy. it literally <laughs> had you know scratching you know oh, clawing wow. scratching on the inside and this and that going on and uh we heard the stories after the fact of course but um a pastor and his wife and their kids were traveling and stopped and stayed at this new place because they were friends of the owners and such and they came in they went and started cooking dinner and stuff and heard some scratching and went on with it and then they heard some more heard some more loud stuff you know and they zeroed it down to this piece of furniture and they thought that it was a raccoon or something inside of it so they went and got the rubber gloves and all the mop and the broom and everything and opened it nothing there Aww. so they thought what the heck they went back well maybe it's wood worms or something i don't know it's an old piece of furniture well i already treated it for all that anyway but um they started they sat down to dinner and started saying grace and <laughs> the lamp and all the photos and everything that's sitting on top of that piece of furniture swiped off and slammed against the wall it was like 10 or 15 feet you know and they jumped up and ran out of that house and wouldn't turn off the light or nothing didn't get their bags they <laughs> ran away from that house so they had uh, somebody come out and cleanse and what have you. I never really did hear the end of it, but we'll have to ask her. Well, bless that. But it was bless who, whatever that soul was that was connected to that poor, piece of furniture and what they a, endured. But that was a that was a very aggressive male. Oh wow! I think a bad bad drunk. Oh wow! Violent violent. So do you see that? I mean, like when you look back, I see, but that? I see that kind of stuff, that impression stuff. I see that on the inside of my head. Mm -hmm. Not know, on the outside. Course. Yeah. I see it as slime. Like, you people look oily to me. I just get flashes. It's like photos of stuff. Oh, yeah. We have about two minutes left. And, wow. and it goes by so fast. We bent, we bent time. Well, I want to thank you for, <laughs> for sharing your journey. And I know you're right in the middle of it. Like you said, you're absorbing all I'm these books beginning. and spiritual. It's... Like, what's going on? Thank and you. what does all this mean? And just thank you for being on the ride with thank us. Thank you for and, having me. Well, it's not over yet, but we're we, just starting. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I have found my tribe. Yay! You yes, know, I just, uh, I'm so hungry for knowledge, and I'll, I'll keep, uh, keep at it, and I will call and pester both of y'all now. Oh, that's awesome. Tiffany, I'm going to have to She's aggravate you now. Well, we'll, we'll do some tapping, because it's an amazing tool would, yeah. to work through the emotions and the densities and things, you know, even when you're restoring a cabinet and you're feeling that energy. You can observe it and see it, but you don't have to take it on. You know, so there's lots of different grounding. There's lots of different ways, but I do the meditation, keep meditating. Yes, yes. Well, and that's the protection. I also threw some protection stuff in there. Um, but it is, it is, it, the, what I have found is um, the path lights itself up. And right yeah. now it's almost like in English, like the first class, you learn all this stuff and then it just keeps doing this. Mm -hmm. And so like right now you're in that process of learning. I mean, you're I already so the, far ahead, but... Yeah, I see the potential in that statement because I don't feel like I'm far ahead. You tell me I'm the big one, but you have helped me in the last few days with stuff that I have been hung up on for years. Yeah, but you're so, ready. You're so ready. People out there, you have to 
read and you have to look and try different things and what's good for you what feels good what feels, feels right. good for you and put the rest of it down and later sometimes that stuff comes back around and mm-hmm. you're yeah. ready so and thank you to our joy tribe who joined us here on facebook live yes. i see Thanks, madeline guys. and denise and um this has been sarah fun. joined you. us and sarah. lots of great comments and suggestions and more questions so we're gonna have to have you back so we yeah have please you're gonna have to come back and tell us more i'll stories. get better at it. and hi joy yeah, you're great <laughs> you did fantastic <laughs> thank you yes, everybody thanks, we'll guys. see See you guys Thank you, next Bobby. week on Joyride. Yeah. Thank you, Bobby. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have a great Thank week. You so much. Green. Red roses, too. I see them bloom. For me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful.